Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And tonight, the Hillers are the visiting team to the Medfield Warriors. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Watson for the call. Steve Watson also getting some camera experience tonight as well for this one. The Hopkinton Hillers come into tonight's contest with a 2-0 record. Medfield, one win, no losses, and a tie on the season. A great TVL matchup coming your way very shortly on HCAM. Right now, we are going to send it down to ice level for the introductions and the national anthem. So no intro, we are ready to play some hockey here at Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. Tom Nappy, Steve Watson on the call. And we are ready to go. And we're underway between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. Both teams have yet to lose this season. The Hillers have defeated the East Longmeadow 10 to nothing and Ashland 5-2. They've outscored their opponents by a total of 15-2. The Hillers in their away green jerseys with the orange numbering and the logo on the front. Out in front there and a shot deflected away. That was Aiden Walsh. And Aiden Walsh getting the start tonight. He had a very good performance against the Ashland Clockers last Saturday. And we'll get a whistle here and a face-off in the midfield zone. Midfield in their home white jerseys. The blue logo and the blue numbering. Medfield finished 14, 6, and 3 overall last season. And they lost in the Division II sectional championship against Plymouth South, 6 to 3. They return a good amount of experience from that team, but certainly a bit of a younger group this year for Medfield. And we'll have a whistle here as Sean Walsh was trying to take control in the corner and that face off in the Hillers zone. Actually, that's going to be a Hillers penalty. So Walsh is heading to the box and Medfield will be on a two minute power play. Well, that's not what you want to do if you're the Hillers, Steve, giving Medfield the early advantage. No, absolutely not. You have a penalty here just 41 seconds in. Not the way you want to start this. John McTavis up against Drew Saporoshitz in the faceoff there. Medfield with control. There's a wrister and it's deflected away by Saporoshitz. Jammed up in the corner is Shane O'Leary. O'Leary trying to put it behind the net over to Schofield. And now set up on the high slot there was McTavish. There's McTavish over to the circle looking for the shot. Wrister and it's a goal. Shane O'Leary. On the deflection, puts it in for Medfield. one nothing Warriors, and Medfield able to take advantage of the power play. That comes a minute and seven seconds into action here in the first. Well, you give Medfield the early power play there, and they take advantage. 
costly penalty, and they popped the goal here, just 107 in. Not the start you want here. Sean Walsh on the faceoff for the Hillers against Phil Parker. Here comes Andrew Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side, and that's going to be offsides there. Well, things aren't going uh, the Hillers' way early on. Gilbert thought he had a breakaway there. Face off along the near side in the neutral zone. Here comes Casolito getting to it for Medfield. Hillers trying to establish control, but the Warriors are holding up nicely. Now with control there and looking for the shot was Hamblett. Back to the neutral zone we go. Up the near side, coming up ice quickly is Slater Franks. Franks up against Gilbert. Now back racing up the near side, Sean Walsh. Walsh beats up with Aiden Parker. The puck will trickle along the sideboards and be picked up back ice by Glyden. That one off of Aiden Walsh, and here comes Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh between his legs with a shot, and it is saved. Cameron Gayunta, the junior goaltender, with the save there. Sean Walsh has showed that he has some fancy stick work. He was incredible against Ashland, had the hat trick in that game. And the Hillers 5-2 victory. He had two goals in the second period. And then a goal in the third period. The Hillers scored three times in the second period, and all three goals were within a minute and a half of each other as we have a whistle. And this one is heading back to the midfield zone for the icing. 12.54 left to go in the first period. The home team, Medfield Warriors, with the early lead. Jammed up along the corner is Palmer. And trying to dig it out for the Hillers is Weinstock. Weinstock turns it around, picking it up is Aiden Parker for Medfield. Now along the far side, that is Phil Parker. Shane O'Leary and Jack Lyons in the area for the Warriors as well. Coming up the near side, Sam Palmer. Palmer meets up with Weinstock, and now here comes McTavish. And McTavish takes a hard hit into the boards. Good check there by Jarrett. Now back ice for Medfield is Schofield. Over to the neutral zone, here comes Mike Tyre, working his way up the near side. Around the net he goes, meets up with Glyden. Leaves it to the blue line, the shot there wide to the left by Schofield. And now meeting up along the near side, that was Weinstock and Cole Curl. And now quickly coming up ice, Kyle Rogers. Rogers might have a shot here. And he tries for the backhand, got it off a little bit too late. And that was some good work by John Schofield hustling up ice. The Hiller is continuing to put the pressure on as Rogers tries to backhand it in once again. Jeffrey Toto is in the game for the Hillers, a late addition to the roster. And he was the one in the corner trying to get it back to Rogers. And we're gonna have a face-off here at the neutral zone. 11.31 left to go in the first period. A action-packed first few minutes, I'd say, Steve. That's a great scoring chance by the Hillers, too, right there on the doorstep. Just couldn't quite put it away. Jammed up along the near side now. It was Gilbert going up against Caravan. Now trying to sneak it out there was McAuliffe. Warriors with pressure here. Out in front, another goal. Ben Caravan leaves it for Phil Parker. Caravan saw Parker coming up to the left side of the net. The big opening and took advantage of it. It is 2-0 Warriors. Well, tough break there for the Hillers. Medfield has the early advantage. And this is not, I think, how the Hillers expected this game to start, Steve. No, but just a very poor start. Not quite even four minutes in. And here you are down by two goals already. And there's an error with the uh, scoreboard clock, it looks like. So I think that's what the officials are trying to work on. It says 11.15 right now, which I don't think is accurate. And here we go. All right. 
Coming up the far side is Walsh. Jammed up along the corner. Hamlet was trying to poke it out. Racing up the ice is Cosolito for Medfield. Stolen away. Here comes Jarrett. Jarrett trying to leave it for Hamlet, and we have some hard contact. That'll draw a whistle here. Do we have a penalty? And it looks like just the offsides call. On the faceoff, Walsh up against McTavish. Along the near side, Sheamus deflected away by Aiden Parker. Parker was trying to send it to the neutral zone, no one there for Medfield. Now, trying to work his way up ice is Hamlet. Here comes Walsh looking for a shot here, and that is deflected by the goaltender. Good shot by Walsh, but Cayunta able to turn it away. Along the near side is Sheamus. Here comes Parker. Hard hit there as Parker meets up with Jarrett. And we're going to have a whistle and a penalty. Elbow is the call. That's going to send Jarrett to the box. Well, already the second power play of this game coming up for Medfield, Steve. If you're Hopkinton, you're already down by two goals. And then you take a penalty like that. Not even five minutes in, so it could go from bad to worse here. Hopefully the hill is it doesn't. But this is not the start that you want here, Tom. Certainly isn't. Phil Park up against Kyle Rogers. Well, I think if we knew the game was going to start like this, we might have not broadcast this <laughs> one, Steve. <laughs> I, I hear that there's a Bruins game on right now, too. So That's right. <laughs> but the Hillers certainly have the talent to respond, so we'll see what they do here. It's early. Here's Parker. Back to the blue line, up to Aiden Parker. Jammed up along the corner now. Trying to poke it out for the Hillers is Luke Glyden. Glyden had a great game against Ashland defensively. The Hillers are very good in their defensive zone. Over to the blue line, there's a shot wide to the left by Cosolito, the junior. Now up along the corner, Aiden Parker for Medfield. Parker trying to poke it out. Back to the near side it goes towards Cosolito. Now into the circle. Back to the goaltender, and Cole Thomas is going to have to wrap it up. We'll have another face-off in Hiller's territory. 124 remaining on the power play. Medfield with the man advantage. The Warriors scored their first of two goals on the power play. Can they score another one? Over to the left circle now. Looking for a shot was Wilder, but then thought twice about it. Wilder going to poke it around behind the net. And it's picked up by Schofield. Schofield meets up along with Ron Sheamus. Now back to the left circle. Shot here, Rister. And that's deflected away by a defender. I believe it was Saperoshitz. It was a strong sharp shot from that uh, left circle by Wilder. Here comes Wilder up the near side. 49 seconds remaining on the power play. Backhander, turned away by Thomas. And then Aiden Walsh able to clear it out of the danger zone. Jammed up along the corner. There's a shot, and Thomas wraps that up. Strong shot there by Shane O'Leary, who already has one goal today. Well, Medfield's keeping the pressure on on this power play. The Hillers are holding up so far, but still 37 seconds. Yeah, so far so good, but still 37 whole seconds left. A lot can happen. Hillers having a tough time clearing their zone. And now trying to clear the zone is Andrew Gilbert, and he'll put that up ice. Nicely done by Gilbert. We're in the power play off the clock. 25 seconds remaining on it. Warriors going to try to get back into Hillers' territory quickly. That one turned away by Gilbert once again. Well, nice job by the Hillers so far on the power play. Five seconds left on that power play, but here comes the Warriors now out in front. And nice work by Kyle Rogers getting to it. Phil Parker was trying to leave it in the slot. And here comes Rogers now looking for a shot here out in front of the net. And that is going to be, I think, a penalty on Medfield hooking. I think they're going to get Sam Palmer with this one. Hey, 
And they do indeed get him with the penalty, so now the Hillers are going to have their first power play opportunity. Sean Walsh up against McTavish. McTavish able to kick it out with a skate there as Rogers picks it up in the corner briefly. Rogers over to Simos in the corner. Back to the blue line. Up the far side is Jarrett. Blair's having a tough time establishing a shot. Behind the net, Hamblett. Hamblett flips it over to Rogers. Rogers trying to jam it in the corner, and that is going to be wrapped up by Gayunta. Well, Gayunta has been uh, kept pretty busy in the last couple minutes. Hiller is trying to take advantage of their first power play of the game. Another face-off in midfield territory. Sean Walsh up against John Schofield. Medfield leading the Hillers 2-0 so far in this first period. 7.42 and counting left to go. Over on the right circle, there's a shot turned away. There's Jarrett. Now some hard contact along the near side. And we have a delayed penalty coming. Hillers working in Medfield territory. Up along the corner out in front, and here comes the penalty. This is going to be against Medfield, I believe. And it looks like Mike Tyre's going to head to the box. He grabbed the head of, I think it was Tommy Hamblett along the near side. Of course, with the action continuing on in midfield territory, the penalty was delayed. But now the Hiller is going to have a two-man advantage for a minute and 11 seconds. Time to capitalize. Got to take advantage here. There's Hamblett jammed up along the corner trying to poke it out. The Warriors are going to try to play keep away as much as possible. It's five on three. Here in the first period, it's been a tough physical game between these two TVL rivals, as expected. There's Walsh behind the net. Over to Rogers, he goes. Or Rogers to Walsh, rather. And now here's Andrew Gilbert. Walsh leaving it out in front. And now Jarrett. That is back to Gilbert with the shot, and it looks like it contacted a hiller in front of the net. And then a secondary shot by Jarrett is covered up by Gayunta. Oh, Rogers uh, was just in the wrong place at the wrong time there. Sometimes that's just how it works. Yep. 38 seconds left of the two-man advantage. And then Hillers will still have the man advantage for another 52 seconds after that. There's a shot from the left circle. That was Andrew Gilbert trying to sneak it through. Gilbert with possession. Over to Walsh and another shot there. And that time it's going to be a Hiller's goal. Cam Jarrett. The sophomore gets it done. 2-1 Medfield. 6.41 left to go in the first period. And the Hillers are still going to have a man advantage for the next minute and 15 seconds. So they'll still be on the power play. Huge opportunity here for Hopkinton to get right back in this game. Uh, in the face-off circle, it is Dan Kirk up against James Wilder. It looks like the official uh, wants to have a little word with uh, Coach McPherson. Well, both of these teams had great runs last year in the playoffs. The Hillers finished 19-3 and one overall last year. They lost in the South Division III sectional semifinals, a great game against Rockland. The final of that one was 4-3, and Medfield went all the way to the D2 sectional championship in the South. And they lost to Plymouth South, 6-3. We're gonna have another whistle here along the near side, and it looks like another Medfield penalty is coming. And this one's going to be on Aiden Parker, that's his second. I'll tell you what, Steve, that's already four penalties on Medfield. They better watch out. You get too many penalties, that's when you start getting some disciplinary action. Yes, too many penalties. It's sort of subject here in New England this week. The Hillers will have a two-man advantage for a minute and seven seconds, and then another 53 seconds of a man advantage. You have to take advantage of this situation if you're Hopkinton. And they just gave it right back to him. Well, it looks like both teams may be losing their cool a little bit. Andrew Gilbert is going to be penalized. The Hillers will now have a one-man advantage for a minute. 
<laughs> Steve, both of these teams, I think, letting their emotions get the best of them a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little too focused on that Christmas break upcoming at the Clutha School tomorrow. You know, both want this game badly. Yep. These two teams split the series last year. Early season, trying to get some separation in the standings. I get it. Yep. And the officials, I think, giving some warnings out to some of the players. Hopkinton defeated Medfield here at Pirelli Veterans Arena last year in December. And then Medfield returned the favor as they took down Hopkinton at their home rink, New England Sports Center in Marlboro, 5-2 late that January. And with the way these two teams are expected to be this season, I think this is going to be the continuance of a great back and forth rivalry. Along the near side, McTavish. So it's a man advantage for the Hillers for the next 30 seconds, and then we're going to be at four on four. As the Hillers have a man in the box, and Medfield has two. Warriors have two men in the box for their second time already tonight. Rodgers puts that around the boards. Coming up the near side is Jarrett. Jarrett has the only Hillers goal so far. And that was on the first opportunity the Hillers had with the two-man advantage. Along the far side corner is Wilder. He'll flick it up the ice. Jarrett's there to get a stick on it. Walsh will take it. There comes Walsh racing up the near side. Getting the stick in there is Tyre. Walsh trying to sneak it through. Up along the far side now, Tyre. Tyre will go back to Cozzolito after it goes off a couple skates. Trying to pick it up is Shane O'Leary. Well defended by the Hillers. Nice job by Glyden getting it away from O'Leary. Five minutes left to go in the first period. It's Medfield two, the Hillers one. An action-packed first 15 minutes between these two teams. Zaporoshitz to the far side. Another pass back towards Walsh. Here comes Aiden Walsh over to the slot and nicely done by Cozzolito, able to steal it away. And that was Hamlet racing in there, just waiting for the shot opportunity. And now we're gonna have a save here by Thomas. Cozzolito went uh, coast to coast on that one and was able to get a nice shot off. So the strength on the ice is even, it's four on four. But in five seconds, Medfield will have a man advantage for eight seconds. Trying to explain the penalty situation so far in this one has been like rocket science, Steve. <laughs> Luke Glyden with the pass up the near side. Racing in the Medfield territory. Schofield picks it up. Over to Cur Curl. Curl along the near side, was trying to get it down to Parker. Some brief interference by Glyden. Luke Glyden has come away with a couple of big steals so far in this game. Gliding up against Parker in the corner. Now behind the net, Saparoshitz. Up the far side he goes. Here comes Kirk. Now chasing it down back ice, Schofield. Schofield was up against Weinstock. Nice body check along the near side by Walsh. It's Aiden Walsh. By the way, I was corrected. Aiden and Sean Walsh, same last name, no relation. And Sean Walsh trying to put it in. And it's wrapped up by Gaiunta. And Sean Walsh, he has great stick work. And he can certainly uh, get some nice shots off. And that was a good shot there. Gaiunta just was able to save that one. It's all that counts though, right? That's right. 3.39 left to go in the first period. A two to one lead for Medfield. It's been a period full of penalties on both sides. In midfield, I have four penalties for them and two for Hopkinton. Along the near side, Sam Palmer. Here's Aiden Parker for the Warriors. Puts it up the ice, off the glass it goes. Picked up behind the net. Now Seamus knocking it up the ice and it's turned away back to the neutral zone. Back and forth we go. Pass over to Rogers. Rogers with a long distance shot just wide to the left. Lyons picking it up behind the net, getting it over to McTavish just in time. Jammed up along the far side corner now. 
Flicked up by Jarrett. Now in the high slot is Walsh with a soft shot turned away by Gayunta. Now Sam Palmer leaves it towards the near side and we get a whistle as John Schofield meets up with Aiden Walsh. 2.39 left to go in this first period. A 2-1 to one lead for Medfield. And we'll have a face-off at center ice. Even strength for the first time in a while. Five on five. Here's Sean Walsh. And there's Hamlet ripping that one away. And getting involved in the action is Cazalito on the far side. Now down to Vachon along the near side boards. Back into the Hiller's defensive zone it goes. Hopkinson racing up the near side. It's Walsh with possession. Turned away by Wilder. Far side corner is Glyden. Glyden pokes that off the boards. Able to get it around to Warrior. Here comes Walsh. He was looking for Jarrett there. Warriors in the midst of the line change. Up the near side goes Walsh. Chasing it down back ice, back ice is Nolan Franks. And we'll have a whistle. We're going to have a penalty it looks like. One minute, 30 seconds left to go in the first period. And heading to the box, it's Sean Walsh. That's, I believe it's Sean Walsh. Maybe. Yes, he is. His yeah, second penalty already. He did not like that call. <laughs> well, I mean, I think for the most part, the penalty calls have been good, but there's been a couple that have been a little iffy. Yeah, you know, both teams have to know that these refs are calling a tight game, though. You have to know that. Right. Well, I think they know that the, these two teams really want this game bad, and it can get out of hand quickly. As Quinlan pokes it up the ice. Will Quinlan just hopping into the game for the Hillers. Medfield on the power play. They have the man advantage. Down the near side, Mike Tyre. Here he comes, racing into the slot. He'll meet up with Gilbert. And now, here comes the Hillers up the far side. Saparoshitz looking for the shot here. And that is going to be turned away by Gayunta. Saparoshitz had a rare breakaway as Medfield had the man advantage. Bill Parker up the far side. Parker puts that into the corner. It's Parker up against Gilbert. Parker able to maintain possession. 39 seconds of hand counting left to go in the first period. A minute and seven seconds left on the Medfield power play. And that one is a miscommunication. Schofield was looking for Wilder. And he was nowhere behind him. It brought the goaltender all the way out of the net. Actually, I apologize. It's Mason Matthew in goal tonight for the Warriors. There's uh, Gaiuta for the most part so far this season, but Mason Matthew is in there right now for Medfield. 18.4 seconds left to go in this first period, and now we have a, another Medfield penalty. That's their fifth. So we're going to be at four on four for the next 49 seconds, and then the Hillers will have the, or then Med, excuse me, then Medfield will have the, uh, the Hillers will have the man advantage for a minute and 11 seconds. And there's a goal. Tommy Hamlet putting that one in. Able to squeak it by, and we are tied up at two. Hamlet saw the opening and was just able to slide it through. 12 seconds left to go in the first period. Well, Steve, I think these fans are getting their money's worth so far tonight. There sure are a lot of penalties, a lot of scoring. That's what you want. You want an action-packed game, right? Absolutely. Some great physical hockey. Along the far side, Sheamus. And we have another whistle. Do we have another penalty? We have a face-off in the Hiller's zone. And no penalty. 
It's a rarity in this game. It sure is, so far. Faceoff is between Hamlet and McTavish. Here's the Warriors with a shot there. It was Cozzolito from the top of the circle. It was turned away by Thomas. And that is going to do it for an action-packed first period. Wow, what a game we got going between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. I don't know if I've seen uh, two teams that despise each other this much. These two teams are playing quite the physical game out there. A whole lot of penalties, a whole lot of physical play, and a whole lot of scoring in that first period. It was pretty action-packed, Steve. I think the second and third will be very, very hard to top that first period. So that means you're going to want to stick around because I don't think anybody has an idea of what's going to come next. This game has just been crazy. Second period coming up next. It's Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. An exciting road game for the Hillers so far tonight. It is 2-2 two two against the Medfield Warriors. It was an action-packed first period, absolutely riddled with penalties on both sides. I don't know if my math's correct. There was so uh, many penalties, I might have lost count. But I got Medfield for six and Hopkinton for three. And we have some power play information to give you to start off this second period. It's four on four right now for the next 30 seconds. And then the Hillers are going to have the man advantage for a minute and 12 seconds. So right now, four on four, and then the Hillers get the man advantage. Jarrett gets it into the slot for Rogers, and he's wrapped up by a number of Warriors. Coming up the near side now, it's McTavish. As McTavish, top of the circle, takes a shot, and that is going to be kept away by Gilbert. And now it is going to be a Hillers man advantage as the Hopkinton penalty has expired. Players will have the advantage for about the next minute. Jarrett picks it up behind the net. A 2-2 two two game. It was the Medfield Warriors scoring two early goals in the first period. And then the Hillers scored two goals pretty late in the first period. As that shot by Gilbert's turned away. And we have a whistle. Pretty much whenever you hear a whistle now, you just assume it's a penalty. And this one is another penalty. It's Mike Tyre heading to the box. So guess what? For the third time tonight, the Hillers are going to have a two-man advantage. You know, we've had hardly no 5-on-5 time in this game. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sean Walsh up against Wilder. There has been far less 5-on-5 time than power play time of some sort. As that shot turned away, and then a secondary shot. Rogers flipped it up a little too high, and we have a whistle. Do we have another penalty? No, it's just to put the net back in place. Okay. So the Hillers have a two-man advantage for 37 seconds, and then they'll still have a man advantage for a minute and 12 seconds after that. Sean Walsh up against James Wilder. Up the near side, Jarrett's there, and Jarrett Misfired on that one as McTavish was able to get to it. The Warriors just trying to play keep away and burn off that two-man advantage at the very least. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up the ice. Good move there, went between the defender's leg, but the shot turned away by Mason Matthews. Been very busy in net all game long. Top of the circle, Gilbert. Down in the slot, and it is poked away. My tire, and the net came out of place again. So an official's stoppage to put the net back. Three seconds left on the two-man advantage, and then it's a one-man advantage for a minute and 13 seconds. 
Entering the game for the Warriors once again, James Wilder, the sophomore. Along the far side at is Simos, on top of the circle. There's a shot, and that's turned away. That's Hamlet, rather. And then uh, trying to poke it through there was Saperoshitz, and it's wrapped up. He nearly was able to knock that one through. But Mason Matthew doing a tremendous job in net. Hiller is going to switch things up on the ice. It is a one-man advantage now for Hopkinton. So they're still on the power play for another minute and four seconds. Aiden Walsh along the near side corner. Off the net, out of play it goes. We'll have a face-off. Wrong net. Yep. 13 minutes left in the second period. And if the Warriors especially keep uh, having penalties, there might be some disciplinary action coming because uh, I believe there's uh, some rules about how many penalties you can have before people start getting thrown out of the game. Dan Kirk up against James Wilder. I'm going to switch it up. It's Sean Walsh up against John Schofield. There's Aiden Walsh. And he's trying to leave it for Dan Kirk to slip it in the corner. Saperoshitz over to Dan Kirk. Back to Saperoshitz. And that one wide to the right. Along the near side, that's Ron Sheamus trying to dig it out. Able to find Aiden Walsh. Walsh trying to poke it through, and the net came out of place once again as Mason Matthew wraps it up. So the net will be put back in place, and we'll have another face-off in the midfield zone. 35 seconds left on the power play for the Hillers. Something wrong with that net down there. That's three times in this period. Well, the, that time there was at least contact made Right, the, that. the first few times, just he right up that, that peg. Right. I gotta super glue that on there, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. That one up the far side by O'Brien. Gets it over to the near side corner. Sheamus chases it down. Sheamus leaves it out in front, and now racing up the ice, this is Walsh. Sean Walsh looking for a shot, and that one turned away by Matthew. Backhanded pass by Cozzolito, no one's there for, war for the Warriors. Hard hit into the boards along the near side. Sam Palmer meeting up with Saperoshitz. Ron Sheamus with possession behind the net, being contested by Sean Palmer. Top of the circle now, here's Saperoshitz trying to get it out of there. Up along the near side, it's Tommy Hamlet jammed up with Cozzolito. It's around the net. Aiden Walsh trying to track it down. Getting there first was Harrison O'Brien. Here comes Hopkinton. They have a break. Sean Walsh, look out, he's dangerous. Trying to leave it behind for Hamblett. A little misfire there. Tracked down by Gilbert. Gilbert trying to get it up to Walsh. Here comes Walsh. Walsh on a break. Leaves it for Hamblett, and it's flipped just over the net by Hamblett. He's trying to go five hole with that one, or excuse me, top uh, shelf with that one. Along the far side, Weinstock. Backhander by Gilbert. Over to Walsh. Hamlet able to poke it out. There's a wrister and a save by Matthew. Andrew Gilbert on the shot. Well, the Hillers are keeping the pressure on, Steve, and Mason Matthews been very busy in that, and I have to say, he is doing a tremendous job in that tonight for Medfield. Face off along the near side circle, still in the Medfield zone. Warriors having a tough time getting it out of there, but now we're at full strength. And we'll see how long this lasts. We haven't, we're, we've barely been at full strength for both sides in this game. Schofield puts it over to the far side to Nolan Franks. Franks goes up to Tyre. And now tracking it down, Wilder. Jammed up along the corner. And up the near side comes McAuliffe. Now into the circle, Rogers. McAuliffe trying to get it back from Franks. Warriors trying to establish possession. Here's Tyre. Leaves it out in front, and he was looking for Vachon. Cosolito with possession, and there's Arister turned away by Cole Thomas. Thomas getting a little busier in the last couple of minutes. 
Well, the Warriors have kept full strength for a while. And it, a shot here out in front, and it's covered up by Thomas. Sam Palmer on the secondary attempt nearly got it through the five hole. What a save that was by Cole Thomas. That, that a great save there on his right post side. We've seen some tremendous goaltending on both sides tonight. And with all these penalties and power plays, there's been a lot of shot opportunities on both sides. Here comes Sean Walsh, Rister from the right circle, turned away. Tracked down by Sheamus. Sheamus trying to knock it up the near side, stolen away by McTavish. McTavish with a shot there, turned away by Thomas. McTavish had some mustard on that one as well, jammed up along the corner now. Nice job by Jarrett getting it away from McTavish. Jarrett with the backhanded pass over the neutral zone. And there's a shot by Aiden Parker. Thomas loved that one briefly and then lets it loose. Flip by Walsh and we'll have a whistle. 9.02 left to go in the second period. Things certainly a little smoother in this second period so far than they were in the first. Not as many penalties yet. I think uh, both teams were probably told to tone it down a little bit. Yes. On the near side, Saperoshitz. Great turnout by the Hopkinton students here at the visitors' home, or here at uh, the Medfield Warriors' home. Veterans Pirelli Arena in Franklin. There's Ian Walsh along the near side, and there's Kirk. And Matthew turns it away. And from the blue line is Saperoshitz. That was a mean shot, but Matthew able to turn it away. And he gloves that one. We'll have a face-off in the midfield zone. Some power on that shot by Saperoshitz. The goals for the Hillers were scored by Cam Jarrett with 6.41 left to go in the first period and Tommy Hamlet with 12 seconds. Up along the near side. Here comes Vachon. Out in front. A shot from the high slot. That was just wide by Schofield. Hard hit of the boards along the far side. Tracked down back ice by Tyre for the Warriors. And Gilbert was trying to sneak it out, but Wilder comes up with it. And now Weinstock able to turn it away. Schofield backhands it back into the Hiller zone. Picked up by Gilbert. Gilbert puts it up and around. And that was Quinlan looking for Walsh. Here comes Cosolito. Rosalito with the wrister ends up off the glass, getting a stick in front of it was Gilbert. Back to the blue line and turned away by Rogers. Approaching seven and a half to go in the second period. Midway through this game. Coming up the near side, McTavish. McTavish races out towards the circle. He was looking for Palmer there. Out in front and kept away, nicely done. By the Hillers defenseman. Here comes Walsh up the near side. Cosolito is looking to give Walsh a whack there. Top of the circle out in front. He was trying to feed Aiden Walsh. Around the boards goes Sheamus. Simos with a backhanded pass, and we'll have a whistle. 6.52 remaining in the second period. Been a whole lot more quiet penalty-wise. Warriors had one penalty in this period, and that's been it so far. But at least nine combined penalties in that first period. Just a whole lot of physical play by both teams. Dan Kirk up against Phil Parker. These officials, they're not, uh, they're not taking any baloney tonight, that's for sure. And a shot from the right circle by Sheamus. That's covered up by Matthew. Yeah, I think both teams kind of found that out the hard way in the first period with all those penalties. It's calmed down here in the second, though. Certainly has. Face off between Kirk and Parker. Here comes Jack Lyons for the Warriors. Lyons with the pass up. 
Tracking it down is Glyden. Glyden along the corner. And he's contested by Phil Parker. Parker got the best of that battle. Able to turn it away, Sheamus. And now racing up the far side is Rogers. Trying to sneak it out there was Kirk, and we get an offsides. We'll have a face-off in the neutral zone. And Dan Kirk didn't like that call. Uh, there was certainly a little de debate there about that offsides call. 6.15 and counting, left in the second. A 2-2 two two game between the Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. And we're going to have a whistle here, a little push from Saperosiewicz to tire. I don't think it's because of that, though. I think we have another uh, offsides, perhaps. The officials having a discussion. Face off in the Hiller zone. Towards the far side, Nolan Franks. Some contact behind the net as Saperosius was trying to establish possession. Saperosius jammed up along the corner with, I believe, James Wilder. Now on the near side, backhander by Tyre to try to get it back up in Hiller's territory. Saperosius trying to clear it away. Saperosius against two Warriors there. Shot here, backhander, and Cole Thomas able to turn it away as James Wilder was able to sneak in there. The Warriors keeping the pressure on. It's been steady pressure by the Warriors at even strength. And Thomas was a little bit displaced on that one, but Schofield was unable to get a stick on it. Schoen was trying to set him up. Schoen behind the net. And he was trying to set up Wilder there. Top of the circle, Nolan Franks, it's stolen away. Here comes Sean Walsh. Walsh up the far side to the net, and he pokes it through. Goal, Hillers. Sean Walsh strikes again with 5.05 left to go in the second. And the Hillers have their first lead of the evening. Sean Walsh might be this year's Will Abbott. He had the hat trick against Ashland, and he has a huge goal in this game against Medfield. What did you think of that stick work by Walsh, Steve? That was the thing of beauty right there. Look out for the junior this season, Sean Walsh. There's something else. Long way to go in this one. Along the near side. Back ice it goes, and we'll have the icing. Face off in the Hiller zone, 447 left in the second period. It has been an action-packed hockey game on this Thursday night. Kyle Rogers on the faceoff for the Hillers against Will Parker. On the near side, here comes Quinlan. And he'll put it over to Weinstock. Weinstock has a good shot as well. He was looking for one there. A couple of Warriors changed that plan. Now along the corner, that's Quinlan trying to get to it for the Hillers, but tracking it down for Medfield is Aiden Parachi. Back to the neutral zone, Weinstock puts it back into Medfield territory. Hillers going to change things up. 4.10 left to go in the second period. Just entering the game and entering the action, McAuliffe. Look, Tom McAuliffe's a player you're going to see continue to get more and more playing time as the season goes on. Will Parker up the near side. And it's taken away by Jarrett. Here comes Parker. And he was looking for somebody in the slot, and no one was open. Kolf gets to it. Kolf jammed up along the corner. The Warrior lost their stick in that corner. Miller's trying to clear it away. Fuglestad trying to get it to that corner to Vachon. Vachon now wrapped up with Sheamus. Some 
good physical hockey going on here in Franklin tonight. Here comes Jack Lyons for the Warriors. Lyons up against Glyden. And is jammed up along the net. So they'll draw the whistle. Three minutes left to go in the second period. The Hillers have the three to two lead after an absolute beauty with 5.05 left to go by Sean Walsh. Highlight real goal. That was an unbelievable goal. Walsh on the faceoff. If you let Walsh break away, chances are it's not going to end you know, well you just, for you. You can't give good players time and space. Medfield did, and they paid the price. There's Andrew Gilbert. Tracked down by Schofield. Over to Tyre. Now there's a shot by Gilbert as it slipped away from Tyre. It's turned away off the pad of Matthew. Jammed up behind the net. Fly down the far side. He was looking for the shot from the top of the circle. Deflected by Wilder. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. Gilbert able to put it back towards the neutral zone. And Sean Walsh chased down now by Cole Curl. Curl flips it back towards Schofield. And now along the corner, Tyre. Pass from Gilbert. And he was trying to get over to Glenn Glenn. I think might have lost his footing. And a shot from the right circle turned away by Thomas. It was a pretty good shot there by Schofield. Cole Thomas has had some tremendous saves so far tonight for the Hillers. Coming up the near side, Hamblet. Hamblet meets up with Palmer, and that'll trip him up a little bit. Less than two minutes left to go in the second period. A 3-2 Hillers lead. Redfield trying to establish a threat, and we're going to have a whistle. 143 left to go in this second period. And the offsides call there, and it is going to be a faceoff in the Hillers zone. Well, the Warriors have won the possession battle since the Hillers goal. Of course, the only thing that matters is the numbers on the scoreboard. And there's a shot there, Thomas is able to wrap that one up. A great save as Tyre was trying to poke it through. And Medfield is going to have a substitution. Ben Caravan in the game for Shane O'Leary. Mike Tyre on the faceoff. We'll go back to Phil Parker. Coming up the near side, here's Kyle Rogers. And Rogers was trying to sneak it by Cozzolito. Now Quinlan pokes it up. Tyre able to grab it for the Warriors. Tyre meets up briefly with Quinlan, leaves it behind for Parker. Here's Parker up against Jarrett or left circle, and Thomas has to turn that one away as Caravan is trying to poke it through. Zaporoshitz now on the far side corner, takes a check from Parker. Zaporoshitz gets it down towards Rogers, and we'll have a whistle with 51.5 seconds left to go. And it looks like the Warriors gonna take the time out to switch up their line, and we'll have a face off in Hiller's territory. One oh nine left on the power play. Hillers are actually a man short. Hamlet is in the penalty box for a delayed penalty call from earlier. And some pressure here. A great save by Thomas as McTavish had a good shot on it. And then Vachon tried to poke it through, but Thomas stayed right with it. Over to the circle now. The pressure continues from Medfield. Seamus trying to get it out of the corner. Wilder over to the right circle. Here's Shane O'Leary. It's around the net. Michonne chases it down. Back to the neutral zone. Backed up by O'Leary. Well, the Hiller's hanging tough so far on this power play. 25 seconds left. Only five seconds left to go in the second period. 
And the second period will come to a close. The Hillers have the three to two lead as they outscore Medfield in the second, one to nothing. And Medfield will have a one-man advantage for 17 seconds in the final 15 minutes of regulation. This action-packed hockey game continues on into the third period. Up next on HCAM, Hillers lead Medfield 3-2. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, the home of the Medfield Warriors. And right now as we enter the third period, it's the visiting Hopkinton Hillers leading three to two. Medfield at one point in this game, back in the first period had a two nothing lead. They scored two goals within the first four minutes of the first period, but then the Hillers were able to respond much later in the period and Sean Walsh scores the only goal of the second period. Tom Nappy, Steve Watson on the call. Steve Watson pulling double duty, running the camera as well. He does it all, folks. And we're underway in this third period. Along the far side, Jarrett, hard hit there. Jarrett meeting up with O'Leary. Here comes O'Leary looking for a shot, and he pokes it through. We're tied at three. Shane O'Leary with his second goal for the Medfield Warriors. And just like that, we're all tied up. Strap in, folks. We might have an exciting finish here. That was 29 seconds into the period. What a shot that was, Steve. Sure was. That's exactly how you want to start the period here if you're the Medfield Warriors. Let's see if the Hillers can respond. Well, it looks like Medfield has certainly calmed down a little bit. They're trying to avoid getting penalties, it seems like based on the performance of that second period compared to the first period. I think they realized they gave the Hillers way too many power play opportunities. Chase down back ice by Nolan Franks who trips up and the puck is loose. And he was frustrated with himself for tripping up there. Aiden Walsh was, nearly got a shot off but the defender was able to race up quickly with Shane O'Leary to the rescue. Along the far side corner, Mike Tyre. Tire with the wrister. That one was just wide to the left. Back to the blue line. Cosolito puts it around the boards. Jammed up along the corner. And Ben Caravan knocks it back down. 3-3 three to three with 13-30 and counting. Left in regulation. Here comes Sean Walson into the left circle trying to pop it through. But Matthew able to cover up. Sean Walsh has been the big threat as of late for the Hillers. Here comes Phil Parker, and that is deflected off the stick of Glyden. And it'll end up out of play. Face off in the Hillers zone. Well, unlike the first period, it was full strength for much of the second. Shocker. <laughs> it certainly is. And after the Hillers scored that goal with about five minutes left, Medfield really uh, did a nice job at controlling uh, the possession game. And now we're going to have another goal. A wrister popped through by Jack Lyons. And it's 4-3, to three, Medfield. 12.58 left to go. What a beauty of a shot that was. Wide open opportunity. And he takes advantage. Pops it right in the left corner. 
Well, the Warriors controlled possession of the puck after the Hillers goal in that second period. They continue to control possession here in this third. And they have two goals in the third period within the first couple minutes. 12.58 and counting left to go. Long way to go in this game. We'll see if the Hillers can respond. A 4-3 lead now for Medfield. Jammed up along the corner. There's Glyden getting a stick on it. Racing up the far side, it's Cole Curl. Over to the left circle. Out in front is Dan Kirk up against McTavish. Kirk able to take it away. And now taking it back is O'Leary. Jane O'Leary having quite the night for the Warriors. He had a, the first goal of the game, and he also had the first goal of this third period. Along the corner, Quinlan. Now Saporoshitz will put it up ice as a number of players make contact along the corner. Well, Quinlan is up against Palmer. And we're going to get a whistle for icing. Just three minutes into this third period, already a couple of midfield goals. And the Warriors have the lead once again. And in the face-off circle, James Wilder up against Sean Walsh. Backhander by Hamlet. Medfield had a good game the other day, uh, last Saturday against Wollaston, ended in a 3-3 tie. We'll take you through the TVL standings in this third period as well. Sean Walsh with possession. Let's take you through those standings as action continues in the Hiller zone. First, we'll see if uh, Hopkinton able to recover here. Warriors looking for a shot around the net, out in front. And that was Vachon trying to leave it for Wilder. And here's Wilder, wide open shot opportunity, and it's just wide to the right. Thomas was able to get a piece of his glove on it, I believe, as well. And the Hillers turned it away. The TVL boys standings, Dedham 3-0-0, Hopkinton 2-0-0. Westwood two wins, no losses, and a tie. Medfield a win and a tie. Ashland two wins, one loss, one tie. Dover Sherborne, two wins, one loss. Bellingham, one win, one loss, two ties. Halston, no wins, two losses, and a tie, which was against Medfield. And Norwood, two losses. Norton, three losses and a tie. And Medway, a very young Medway team this year, four losses on the season. They're certainly in a rebuilding year over at Medway High School. And they are known for their very consistently good hockey program, but this is one of the youngest teams they've had in a long time. We have a whistle here along the far side, and it is going to be a face-off in the neutral zone. We're at even strength. 11 minutes and counting left to go in the third period. The Warriors have already scored two goals in this third period and have the 4-3 lead. Along the near side, Sam Palmer. He meets up with Glyden. Now Cherit will retrieve it behind the net, but first he's contested by O'Leary. Over along the far side, it's Lyons putting it around as the Warriors will switch up their line. And now Aiden Parker makes contact with Glyden. Here comes Cam Jarrett. Jarrett up behind the net trying to get away from Vajon. Puts it over towards Quinlan, who turns it away. That's the first time in a long time that it ended up in the midfield zone without a whistle. And defending the slot there was Sheamus. And Walsh will take it. Walsh puts it around the end boards, over towards Hamlet it goes. Hamlet jammed up with a couple Warriors. And now midfield with an opportunity here. And that is Tyre with the turnaround shot there, deflected by Thomas. There's Tyre again. Puts it over towards Schofield. These Hillers defenders have been very busy in this third period. The Warriors putting the pressure to them. O'Brien flips it up over to the far side corner. And a hard hit by Saparoshitz. And I don't think he uh, 
Meant to hit him that hard. It looks like he just could not stop as he was going towards the corner and ran right into, I believe it was Harrison O'Brien. Or no, that's not O'Brien. O'Brien's okay, but both players are down and injured. And I think he just uh, lost control of his skates there, Steve. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Certainly hope uh, both are okay. That is Slater Franks, the injured player. And well, they tend to the injured player. We'll take a timeout, 9.28 left to go. Medfield leading Hopkinton 4-3 on h -cam. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. 9.28 left to go in the third period. We had a stoppage due to an injury. Both players appear to be okay. Saporoshitz just... Uh, Meeting up with Slater Franks in the corner, and uh, they were just unable, he was just unable to stop his skates as he was coming at full speed. Top of the circle, there's a wrister and a save. Hamlet on the shot, and Matthew wraps it up. That was a beauty of a shot there, but Matthew was ready for it. We'll have another face-off in the midfield zone. Hiller's trying to Get the pressure on. Warriors have responded in a big way in this third period as they have scored the game tying goal as well as the go ahead. And, and they did it within the first three minutes of the period. Along the far side, Shane O'Leary. Into the corner it goes. Tavish able to get a stick on it. Now here comes O'Leary. Out in front, here's Walsh. Walsh back to Jared, who lost it briefly. Able to re regain control. And now there to intercept is Caravan. There's Walsh. Walsh could not get around Parker that time. The Warriors have a two-on-one, and the Walsh quickly gets involved. And now it's Gilbert and Tyre fighting for possession. Ends up back ice to Parker, who puts it to the far side. Rogers leaves it for Hamlet. Now into the corner is Rogers. Rogers meeting up with Vachon along the corner. Biden gets in there, trying to rip it away from Tyre. Tyre up against Quinlan. With possession now, it's Parker for Medfield. And Kirk knocks it away from Parker. Around the net he goes. Kirk's tripped up as Parker was right in front of him, trying to box him out. Now jammed up along the near side boards. It's Quinlan and Wilder going for it. Leiden trying to slide it out. Quinlan puts it over to the right circle. There's a shot and a cover up. Ron Sheamus on the shot there. Mason Matthew able to wrap it up. Well, the Hillers have established uh, some pressure these last couple of minutes, Steve. They do to you. Down by one here. 7.39 to go in the third period. Time to try and tie this one up. Dan Kirk to face off against Phil Parker. Here comes Medfield. Parker. Parker could not get around Glyden. Around the net he goes. Able to get out in front of it. Cole Thomas lost his stick and just dove on it. Smart move there by the goaltender. You lose that stick, try to get the puck. Yes, very smart move. Always dive on it if you have a chance to. Don't let that puck get loose. Usually bad things happen. That's right. On the faceoff, it's Saporoshitz against Phil Parker. That was uh, Walsh, rather, on the faceoff for the Hillers. Hillers trying to clear it away. Nolan Franks puts it around the net. On the other side to pick it up, Hamlet. The old meet up with Parker. And we're going to have a whistle. I think we might have had an offsides here. That's indeed the call. We'll have a face-off. 
far side of the neutral zone. 7-10 left to go in the third period. Medfield has the lead, 4-3. So the ball is in the Hiller's court here in these last few minutes to try to respond. Zaporoshitz around the net. And he's trying to put it up towards Hamlet. Out into the slot, and there's another Medfield goal. Jim Cosolito able to sneak it through. Well, he saw the opening glove side and poked it in. And Medfield, I think, feeling much more comfortable now with a two-goal lead and 6.55 left to go in regulation. Well, Cole Thomas has had to face a lot of pressure tonight. And a lot of open shots. So certainly a tough night, I'd say, to be a goaltender in this game. Medfield takes a timeout. 6.55 left to go. It's the Warriors leading the Hillers 5-3 on HCAN. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my Gal and we love HCAN. I want to be a camp. We love HCAN. And I volunteer for HCAN TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! 6.55 left to go in regulation. Medfield leading Hopkinton 5-3. Killers have their work cut out for them if they want to try to get a point or two in this one. At the far side it goes. Walsh push there. That looked like a uh, frustration push from Walsh. Sean Walsh uh, had the go-ahead goal for the Hillers in the second period. Now a shot here, it's off the goaltender. That was Hamlet trying to sneak it in. And Matthew able to get another good save there. And now it's just totally jammed up along the corner. Two Hillers and two Warriors in there. Here comes McTavish. Getting out in front of McTavish to steal it away is Walsh. Tavish will wrist it down the ice. Jammed up along the corner. Here comes Tyre now with possession. Moves it out in the slot, and Gilbert briefly turns it away. Now a shot by Vachon. That's turned away by Thomas. I don't think Glyde knew who the puck was there as he turned it away. Lions along the far side. Behind the net now. Zaporoshitz able to get there. Walsh puts it around the board. Medfield trying to play keep away, burn that time off the clock to hold on to their two goal lead. Wilder up the near side. Warriors one mind, another goal themselves as well. In the left circle, looking for a shot there it was Tyre, and now out in front, able to steal it away is Hamlet. Hamlet meets up on the far side with Vachon, and we're going to have a whistle. I think we just had an offsides call. And we'll have a face-off in the midfield zone. 5.19 left to go. The Warriors trying to grab their second win overall of the season. So far, Medfield has scored points in all of their games, a win and a tie. Three points overall, the Hillers. They have four points overall with two wins, no losses, and no ties. Kirk able to poke it out on the far side. Here comes the Warriors once again. Jarrett is able to get in the way briefly, but now it's Parker up the near side. And the slot he goes, looking for a shot, and it is going to be turned away. And no, is that put in? It looks like we had a goal. So it looks like it went off the back of the net and popped out. And that is going to be Phil Parker, I believe, credited with the goal. A 6-3 lead for Medfield, and things quickly turning ugly for Hopkinton. That comes with 4.51 left to go in regulation. Well, that's a tough break for the Hillers, Steve. It looked like they had their zone defended. They were going to get the puck back, but then a quick little shot by Parker. Tom Austin, I'm not sure how that puck even went in. I'm not either. I don't know if that 
went in on the Parker shot or a secondary attempt as there was a number of players trying to get a stick on it in the corner. I believe it was the Parker shot though. In fact, I'm just about sure it is because the whistle came as they were still poking at the puck along the side of the net. Walsh checks on Schofield into the corner. Walsh trying to desperately get to the puck. You can tell he's a little frustrated. Here's Gilbert. Turned up the near side by Aiden Walsh. Well, I think this game will certainly be a learning experience for the Hillers. They're playing a very talented midfield team. Hopkinson looking for a shot here. Racing in there was Rodgers. It was a game that had many momentum shifts. Now Warriors looking for another shot, perhaps. And it's turned away by Sheamus. We'll have a whistle. The net came out again. Clock stopped at 3.49 left to go. Well, this game just had momentum shift after momentum shift. But it looks like it's going to end in the favor of Medfield. Unless the Hillers can pull off a miracle in these final three minutes and 49 seconds. You never know. Never do. It's not over till it's over. Hillers will next take on Bellingham. That'll be a home game. We'll certainly be at that game as well. And they'll look to uh, take their frustrations out on the Blackhawks. As for Medfield, they will be at Norton on Saturday. Pass over to the far side by Quinlan. Irvan. And Rogers able to get to it. The puck was just kind of hanging out there in the slot for a while, and then we have a whistle. And we're going to have a penalty. It's going to be Harrison O'Brien heading to the box. I believe they got him for an elbow. Walsh face off against McTavish. Hillers have the man advantage for the next couple of minutes. But it might be too little too late. As Hopkinton trailing by three. Shot from the top of the circle by Gilbert wide to the right. Gilbert down to Walsh. Now over the far side of Jarrett. Coming up the near side now. Here comes Palmer looking for a shot. Gilbert there to intercept. Over to Hamlet. And we'll have a whistle as Hamlet gets tangled up with Schofield. Well, I think these two teams, Hopkinton and Medfield, they're obviously going to be two of the best in the TVL. And then, of course, you have to consider Dedham and, and Westwood, who are loaded with talent as well. Ashland, of course, has a lot of returning stars. It's going to be a very tough, very tough league this season for boys hockey. Yes. A lot of great teams, Steve. Yep, and I don't think these two squads will be exchanging any Christmas cards. I don't think so. But I think uh, Hopkinton and Medfield hockey turning into a great rivalry. Yes, and most of the two teams that can do some damage when that stretch run does come. They certainly can. And one thing's for sure, they won't see each other in the playoffs. Medfield Division Two, Hopkinton Division Three. Along the near side, O'Leary puts it back towards Nolan Franks. We'll pop it around the boards. Over along the far side, Hamlet. Well, you certainly got your money's worth here tonight. And if you're a Hillers fan, you're certainly leaving a little bit disappointed. But what an action-packed hockey game this has been. Walsh is met up with along the far side by Schofield. That was a hard hit, Schofield, and then Wilder. 
Killer is looking for a shot here. Here's Gilbert. Putting it towards the left circle. The wrister turned away. Jarrett on the shot. Now trying to sneak it around was Hamlet. And it's poked out by O'Leary. Cole Thomas puts back up ice. Now the Hillers trailing by three minute and 12. Left to go and regulation. Medfield's going to come away with their second win of the season and improved to 2 0 oh, and 1 overall. The Hillers are going to fall to 2 1 and 0. Oh. But these two teams will see each other again later in the season at the New England Sports Center. And that should certainly be another fun game between these two rivals. 40 seconds left now. The Warriors in control. Lions up the far side. Warriors just trying to burn the clock at this point. Over along the corner, McTavish, and we'll have a whistle. And I think a penalty. Justin Fugelstad is going to head to the box. That is the eighth penalty tonight against Medfield. That's a lot. That's and in spite of that, they're up by three goals. Right. No Usually that's not the case. Yeah. That's true. I mean, the Hillers did have four or five of their own, so that didn't help this situation. But there was a number of power plays tonight that the Hillers could not take advantage of. They took advantage of a couple of them, but when you have a two-man advantage, you gotta score every time. Saparoshitz able to knock it down. Low 10 seconds now, time continuing to tick away. Medfield with a four goal third period. And they earned a six to three victory over the Hillers. It was certainly a fun night of hockey here at Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin. Not so fun for the Hillers, but it was a great game overall. Medfield defeats Hopkinton six to three. Steve, any final thoughts? Solid game, and Hopkinton had this one. And then at the third period, it just kind of slipped out of their reach. So if you can take the, the, the first two periods, keep doing that, and avoid everything you did in the third period, then you'll be fine. It's early in the season. A lot can right. happen the rest of the way. Well, these two teams, they constantly go back and forth on the ice. And I'm sure the Hillers are going to be looking for revenge when they meet up down the road, and they could very well get that revenge. Two very talented TVL teams played here tonight, and it was certainly a fun game to watch, and we look forward to watching these two teams go throughout the season. Medfield defeats Hopkinton by a final score of 6-3. to three. For Steve Watson, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon.